In this video, I'm going to work through some examples of finding the equation of the line that passes through these pairs of coordinates. So, first one, 8, 2 and 5 minus 7. So we've got to first find the gradient of the line. So m is equal to the difference in the y-coordinates, so 2 take away minus 7, over the difference in the x-coordinates, so 8 take away 5. So we're going to have um, 9 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator, so 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the equation of the line is y minus y1, so y, let's use 8, 2, so y minus 2 is equal to the gradient 3 times x take away x1, so x take away 8. So that's the equation of the line. So if we uh, multiply this out, we can get y equals 3x, then we've got three lots of minus 8, so minus 24, Adding the 2 to both sides as well will give us minus 22. So y equals 3x minus 22. For b, 4, 9 and 6, 1. The gradient, the difference in the y coordinates, so 9 take away 1, over the difference in the x coordinates, 4 take away 6. So we'll have 8 in the numerator, minus 2 in the denominator, so the gradient is minus 4. So if we use 4, 9 as the x1, y1, we'll have y minus 9 is equal to minus 4, lots of x minus 4. So, multiplying out this bracket, we'll have minus 4 times x, so minus 4x. We've then got minus 4 times minus 4, so that will be 16. And then add the 9 to both sides, will give me 25. So 16 plus the 9 is 25. So minus 4x plus 25. For C, gradient first, 7 take away 10 over minus 4 take away 5. So we'll have minus 3 in the numerator and minus 9 in the denominator, so the gradient is a third. So if we use minus 4, 7, as the x1, y1, we'll have y minus 7 is equal to 1 third x plus 4, okay? So x take away minus 4, so x plus 4. Okay, so at this point, multiplying out the bracket, we'll have y equals 1 third x. We're then going to have a third times 4, so 4 thirds. And then we're going to add the 7 to both sides, and that gives me 25 thirds. And there is the equation of the line in y equals mx plus c form. So for d, the gradient of the line, difference in the y coordinates, 4 take away 9 halves, over the difference in the x coordinates, so 3 halves take away 5. So. 4 take away 9 halves gives me minus a half in the numerator. 3 halves take away 5 in the denominator, so that's minus 7 halves. So minus 1 half divided by minus 7 halves is 1 seventh. So the equation using 3 halves 4 as my um, x1, y1 will be y minus 4 is equal to 1 seventh x minus 3 halves. So we'll have y equals 1 seventh x. So if we multiply the 1 seventh by the minus 3 halves, we get minus 3 fourteenths. Then add the 4 to both sides, we get 53 fourteenths. So y equals 1 seventh x plus 53 fourteenths. Then lastly, here's e. So we've got the difference in the y coordinates. 4 fifths take away minus 2 sevenths. Over the difference in the x coordinates, so minus 3 sevenths take away 1 third. So, in the numerator, 4 fifths, plus
plus two sevenths is 38 thirty fifths. And in the denominator, minus three sevenths, take away a third, which is minus 16 over 21. So this fraction, 38 over 35, divided by minus 16 over 21, is minus 57 over 40. So if we use this, these coordinates as the x1, y1, okay, we will have, let's write it down here, y minus 4 fifths is equal to m, so minus 57 fortieths, x plus 3 sevenths. Okay. So y will be equal to minus 57 fortieths x. So minus 57 fortieths times by the 3 sevenths. And then add, so that gets me minus 171 over 280. Then add the 4 fifths. And that gives me 53 over 280. Okay. And so this is the quick way uh, using the y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 method to find the equation of the line in each of these cases. So it's pretty nifty because you just need to find the gradient uh, between the two points and then you can substitute straight in. So that's the equation and then it's a rearrangement to get it into the format that you want. Now in each of these cases I've found it in the format of y equals mx plus c, but it's not certain that you would have to find it in that format. There are other formats as well, like ax plus by plus c equals zero, for example, uh, where in some exams um, they prefer the a, b, and c to be whole numbers or integers. Okay, So we will see some of that um, as well in the coming videos.